What's up, everybody? I'm Anna, and this is the English Fluency Journey. And here I give tips and advice for English learners. And as I'm learning English myself, I invite you to learn it with me. Well, I've been looking for some information about American pronunciation, and I found a very interesting article and then some videos about pronunciation changes in words that are both nouns and verbs. And by pronunciation changes, I actually mean, and they actually mean, a word stress. And of course, I'm gonna leave the links to those videos and to the side in the description to this video so you can go ahead and check those out by yourselves. Why I thought that it's so interesting? Well, because word stresses are super important and it's a little tricky but not that hard to understand. As you know, we have words in English that are both nouns and verbs. But how do you know what I mean? Am I using it as a noun or as a verb? Well, it depends on where you put the stress on. If the stress is placed on the first syllable, then it's a noun. If the stress is placed on the second syllable, then it's a verb. And here's the chart with the words. Let's read them out loud. Conduct, conduct, attribute, attribute, combat, combat, conflict, conflict, contest, contest, contract, contract, decrease, decrease, escort, escort, impact, impact, increase, increase, insult, insult, object, object, permit, permit, present, present, proceed, proceed, progress, progress, project, project, rebel, rebel, Refill, refill, refund, refund, reject, reject, subject, subject, suspect, suspect. Well, it's much easier to understand this when you use those words in sentences. So let's see. Far up in the air was an object that looked like a balloon. Before she could object, he took charge again. She's made considerable progress in the study of arithmetics. The course allows students to progress at their own speed. I'm working on a project. Actors must learn to project their voices. Ice is an interesting subject for contemplation. My parents are unwilling to subject us to embarrassment. So, it'll be better for you if you make up your own sentences using these words. Pay attention, when you search for a word meaning in an online dictionary and you're clicking on that speaker icon to hear the pronunciation of the word, you'll hear it pronounced either as a noun or as a verb. So, if you want to hear how the word is pronounced as a verb, you have to search for a word as a verb as well. Thank you for watching this video, hope it was useful. Don't forget to practice, share this information with your friends, hit the bell icon to get our notifications, subscribe, and see ya!